More than five million have fled the fighting in Syria, most of them from the city of Aleppo. We talked to a pastor from that city in Washington, D.C. Reverend Harut is an Armenian evangelical pastor who insists on returning to his city of Aleppo. As he told CBN's Abigail Robertson, now more than ever, Christians need to be in the country ministering to Syria's citizens. We hear a lot about the refugees who are fleeing Syria, but what's going on with those who've decided to remain in the country? I want to share with you all an interview I did with Reverend Harut, an Armenian evangelical pastor who's decided to stay in Syria, protect his church, and be there for the people who are struggling with the ongoing civil war. Take a look at what he says. Our life became uh, so dangerous and uh, we are feeling more responsible towards the people that we are serving. This torn apart nation uh, needs people that they are uh, filled with the spirit and with love, with passion. And uh, we are trying to be there uh, as long as the war is there. Then when I come back to my office, I start writing as if I'm writing the history of Syria during the war. In Aleppo, do you feel like the community is empty or do you still feel like a, there's a strong sense of community there? The community is still there, though many left and uh, uh, half of Syrian population nowadays, they are scattered all over the world and they are uh, becoming now in the, under the status of a refugee. Uh, we have to be there, we have to be uh, protective to our churches, our schools uh, and our social clubs. And, uh, you know, still uh, we are very much concerned about all those who went out because we are hearing so many stories that they are not in good shape. Uh, many still are living in social halls of the churches in Toronto, in Montreal and in other places. And uh, some families also, they are calling us in Aleppo, in Syria and saying, uh, Pastor, if you can manage something, uh, we are planning to come back uh, with a family, uh, to come back home to Aleppo, because we don't want uh, to stay like this all, all over, over uh, years. So have shops and schools been able to stay open? We have shops and we have schools, especially under the uh, government jurisdiction area. Mm -hmm. uh, we are continuing our life uh, semi-normal, but uh, we are trying to uh, make uh, life get progress. Uh, for instance, the schooling system in Syria still is functioning as if nothing is going on in Syria. Do uh, you feel safe there? My spirit is calm and uh, we are very much trusted uh, to God and uh, every day we feel that uh, God is protecting us and God is stretching his hand over Syria. So we are, we are facing so many uh, danger, uh, we are facing so many uh, problems and fear, but uh, th the Spirit is giving us that calamity. So you have no plans to leave? <laughs> no, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to leave. I have to be with my people, with the community, uh, as the head of the Armenian Protestant churches in Syria. God uh, called me to be there, uh, and being a pastor is not for good days only, uh, is for all the time, is for all days. Two, two weeks before uh, I preached uh, on the subject uh, when Jesus uh, was tempted and tested in the desert, the, the point was that uh, the faith should be tested. And the Satan is, uh, if surrounding us, uh, it's not that we should leave the desert and go and leave the place for Satan. Uh, Jesus stayed there we are going to stay there and we are going to say to the Satan, go back. If uh, the Christian faith is not tested, you will not see how real it is and how powerful it is. So that uh, the power of the Christian faith uh, always comes during the test and uh, how we are going to be tested by fire. And the fire is all the time all over the community. So we have many challenges and today I believe that our Christian faith is challenged as well. So this is the time not to leave, this is the time to stay and to give testimony to the, to the um, 
marvelous work that God is doing in our lives. So do you feel like God is really in the country of Syria and moving in Syria right now? I do believe so. I do believe that God is uh, uh, under control. I mean, everything is under control of God. Have any Muslims reached out to you for help and comfort? Our church and our uh, church courtyard is located in a uh, Muslim-dominated people, and everybody uh, comes to our polyclinic, and it, they come to our uh, social service action center, and we try to stretch hand and help, especially when uh, the water cuts off from Aleppo. We feel so good that uh, whatever we have from richness or from possibilities, uh, accessibilities, we try to share it with the community without any discrimination. This is our teaching, this is our faith, and this is how to be a Syrian in Syria. As Reverend Harut says, God is moving in the Middle East, and we must continue to lift up our brothers and sisters standing for their faith.